We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this and what this is from Braswell's since 1946. I don't think this sauce has been around that long, probably just a company. We have good and evil hot sauce. It, so if you read the written review, the link to which is available down in the description below, you can see that I was pretty confused with this label. I don't understand the pirate theme. The skull and crap, I mean, <laughs> oh, hot sauce companies, what are we going to do with you? So this one, you can see the, these letters and how, this looks honestly kind of childish. Good jalapeno, bad habanero. <sighs> or sorry, rather evil, evil. So this is, they're calling it a mild sauce and they're calling it 320 Scovilles. <laughs> Scoville, you know, I don't even pay attention to Scoville ratings anymore because I think very, very, very few companies actually are correct with those. And I don't think they're running up to the spectrograph. I think they're just guessing. 320 is meaning, that's, so that's below, way, way below, in fact, jalapeno. So I'm assuming they're meaning probably 3200 or something like that. Maybe 32,000, I don't know. It's, it's hard to know. Anyway, we have water, orange juice, cane sugar, jalapeno pepper puree, jalapeno pepper puree, red bell peppers, ginger, garlic powder, natural flavors, which is not extract here, salt, onion powder, citric acid, xanthan gum, uh, pepper, I'm assuming they mean black pepper there. Habanero powder and cayenne powder. And they say the last two are the ones that are bringing the heat. So cayenne does not bring the heat powder. Uh, we'll just put that out there. Habanero pepper being buried that far back probably really isn't either. So here's the other thing too. So if this is 320, that is a bell pepper is basically zero. So this is just slightly above a bell pepper. Can you call yourself a hot sauce if you are claiming to have the heat level be that low? Like, is that is that a reasonable thing? At that point, it's probably a sauce. There's spicy ketchups that are hotter than that. So this is my first ever from Braswell's. Uh, to say I am unimpressed is uh, definitely rather understating it. So let's take a look here. Oh, my. this is, I just opened this cap. This is one of the most foul smelling concoctions. I, I really, really do not like the smell of this. The taste is, is a lot better than the smell, fortunately, but the smell is just ghastly. All right, oh. You've got those savory powders, the garlic and onion that are just, you, you know how when you dump those into like a taco seasoning or a, of a chili or something like that and they haven't meshed yet that is what this is like just breathing in the fumes of that it's it's gnarly i don't like it uh so we've got this sort of very light orange almost uh maybe a tannish maybe a really light brown sort of coloration here uh there's little bits of particulates in it so there's some here i'm assuming these are either bits of jalapeno or possibly ginger. I don't know if they used actual ginger. I'm assuming they did. They seem like they're pretty on top of when something is a powder versus when something is the actual thing. So they visually it doesn't look too bad. It's not honestly very enticing to me, but it's not, I mean, there's nothing wrong with how it looks either. So, but uh, all right, let's, let's get on into this part. Mmm. Ugh. 
The orange finish is nice. Uh, the orange finish is nice. Just that mouthful of. Oh. Why don't I spoon some onion or garlic powder into my face? Why don't I do that? Yeah. I, I do like the orange finish. I don't like. This is testing my resolve. I really, really, I, I don't know why this is a goal for me, but I really want to be able to do, I, I guess I'm already doing the video here, but this was really close. I really want to be able to do a video for every written review. There's no year where I've done that yet. So this year, which is the blog's <laughs> biggest ever in terms of reviews, actually it's, a, it's the channel's biggest ever as well in every conceivable me metric. And so I, I really, literally picked the hardest year possible to do this with. Uh, this is this is really testing it. This is, oh man, that is so gross by itself. I, I do like the orange finish though. I think that part is good. I, I just wish they would have leaned into that and just like either reduced or eliminated some of those other flavors because they are really really fouling the sauce and I mean it, it's about half the bottle is gone now but to be honest probably to about here actually let's do it this way you can see probably to about here was fouled it was all discolored sauce so I tossed it so I, I've been trying to find places to, to use the sauce but it is so unappetizing to me that it just it, where I have used it, I just haven't really liked it, except for uh, fried chicken, chicken strips, things like that. So here I've got, this is a plate here, popcorn chicken, and so we're just, I, I just, I, I can't imagine I'm going to finish this. So we're, this might be, this might be it for this sauce, but we're just going to throw it on some of this popcorn chicken and hope for the best. I, I just... I agitated this really well prior to opening it too, before this video. So, even if I wind up, and here's why I think I want to bin it, is because this was a dollar. And I'm going through it with this sauce, and to me it's just not worth keeping to get, to, to wring that 50 cents of value out of it. That's why I always say, right, life is too short for bad sauces. When you got something that will mute out the savory elements, this isn't, it's, it's, it's not a bad idea. Orange sauces are naturally going to work well with chicken, possibly fish, any light colored meats. And when you can get the orange and not the other dried ingredients, it's fine. They really should have leaned more into that, though. Heat air is really, really minimal. They called it mild. It is certainly that. I'm not a big fan of oranges. I never eat them. I can't tell you the last time I bought one. I don't drink orange juice unless I really got a you know hankering for a screwdriver or something but I don't really drink hard liquor very much anymore either so those days are few and far between but I do think it works well in hot sauce the blood orange ghost from Gendo's is another really good one I think it dials down the flexibility because I don't want citrus on my pizza, for instance. Or in a creamy sort of sauce dish like a, you know, your Alfredo's, your mac and cheese. But, I mean, I might go through this strictly for just keeping it around as a chicken strip sauce, maybe, I don't know. It just isn't that good overall. It's just okay -ish.
And that hit, that initial hit when you just get that smell is spectacularly unenjoyable. So, this is really kind of a mess with sauce. Just gonna lay it out there. The, the things that does it well is not enough focus on that. Right, so you've got water is fine, orange juice is fine, cane sugar is fine, I might have forgot to mention that. Uh, jalapeno, also fine, red bell, great. Ginger, I don't really think it impacts this particularly, but I mean, if you really have to have it, just leave it. Where they get into trouble is the garlic powder, natural pot flavors, and the onion powder. Those three things, well, actually, I don't know what natural flavors is. I'll throw it out. The onion and garlic powder, though, a little of that goes a really, really, really long way. And... I think this this might be something that is harder on me personally because of the onion intolerance, but I, I would wish they would just eliminate that one entirely. Uh, it's not adding any, anything to this sauce. And the garlic I would dial down a lot more. But the other thing too is the whole idea of a 320 Scoville sauce. I mean, if, you, if you've got the habanero and cayenne, I'd say lean a lot more into the sweetness of the orange juice and just make it a nice sweet hot. This isn't. This isn't really a sweet hot. It, it is slightly sweet, but it is not, it's not the, where we would expect a sweet hot to be. And I, and I think that's a problem with this. Because it, uh, yeah, it's, um, if you didn't have any other sauce and you happen to have some chicken strips, that's kind of where you'd use this one. So I don't know, I might, I might have one or two more uses of this possibly, I don't know. I just, every time I open it, I just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> so, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll look around and see if there's anything else from them that looks interesting. But so far, my introduction to Braswell's is really underwhelming. And we'll just leave it at that. So, but anyway, there we go. The Braswell's Good and Evil Hot Sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.